Hello! Uh, in this video we'll talk about accuracy and uncertainty. Previously you have been introduced to the concept of precision and trueness. And we will see these terms in the context of a dart game. The dartboard represents the true value, the center of the dartboard is the true value, and the darts represent our measurement results. If the darts are located all around the place, then the method is quite imprecise. But if the darts are all close together, and our measurement results are all close together, then the method is precise. Uh, however, if the the mean of these measurement results is quite far away from the true value, the center of the dartboard, then the method has low trueness. But if the, if the mean results are close to the true value, then the method has high trueness. Accor according to the definition uh, of uh, international vocabulary of metrology, accuracy is defined as the closeness of the measurement results and the true value. Therefore, uh, accuracy combines both precision and trueness. Each and every of the measurement results need to be very close to, close to the true value. Let's review uncertainty within this context. When we have our measurement result and we accompany it with the uncertainty limit, then the aim of this uncertainty limit is to include the true value within this uncertainty limit. And therefore, uncertainty limit also combines both precision and trueness. Uh, now let's see how different methods with different uh, uncertainty limits can be compared for accuracy. First, before we start comparing these two methods, we have to know if the true value is included within the uh, uncertainty limits. And in this case, the method on the left-hand side is acceptable because the uncertainty limit includes also the true value. So if the uncertainty limit is acceptable for the customer, then this method can be said to be accurate enough and can be used. However, for the method on the right hand side, the true value is not included within the uncertainty limit and therefore the method is not accurate enough and the uncertainty estimation needs to be reviewed. But if we have two methods with different uncertainty limits, but both uncertainty limits including also the true value, then we can say that the method that has a narrower uncertainty limit is also more accurate.